I know it takes me forever. It's my schedule. I'm sorry it took me so long. Time to say goodbye. Sumo mask. <laughs> um, before we get started, I want to apologize if any ambient noises really interfere or anything. My air conditioner broke. So, sliding door open, window open, windows open, giant fan blowing. I'm sorry, but, you know, it's fucking hot. Anyways, time to say goodbye. Sumo mask. Let's do this. Play. Yeah, work point. Wonky with my Wi-Fi.
You know, every so often, all masks, almost all masks, are stellar, mind-blowing, unexpected, you know, fantastic. But every so often, one comes along that's just... It just, it just demonstrates the caliber, you know, of some of these mystery people. And, like, this one, I mean, that was like, pure opera, you know, like, $65 for a seat. Uh, you know, get the balcony, got the glasses, and just reveling in the pure artistry and performance. Um, it was beautiful. Um, I mean, I know I, I made a little fun with it during my actual watching of it, and, but at the same time, It's that, that, that storytelling aspect that the mystery allows it to, to, to permeate into the performance. Um, like, I understand when I say this, it's going to sound like I'm knocking the Masked Singer. And I'm not. I'm not knocking Masked Singer when I say this. But this was one of those performances that makes you feel like they just elevated the show. You know, they just superseded, exceeded, whatever, just... It was one of those things. It was just like, this, this belongs... This belongs... in a mass international opera tour. That was really good, and, and I don't know, it's just how music can cross language barriers, how, you know, not only the nonverbal and you get the feeling from the singer, but how sometimes you take the music and you do it in a different tongue. Maybe it's the song's original tongue, maybe it's you putting a fresh spin on the song, whatever it is, it's still, it's just, it's, it's always incredible when you see these border crossings, when you see these globalized, humanized performances that remind you that, that this is one of those things that we all we all have in common. This right here, this is, this is just, it's great, it's great, because it, it, it's kind of like going on a world tour, you know what I mean? And, I don't know, it's a magical thing, and I really love the fact that, that, that there are artists in, in the mask that will follow that route. Like I said, it's elevating. It's just, it's so great. Um, I'm sorry that it took me so long to get to this. Um, I, I've been getting requests for a long time for it, and you know, I, I, I just, I have this schedule, and it makes it hard for me to get to it on time. <laughs> I'm way behind. But thank you, nonetheless, for. Um, making certain I didn't get by without saying this. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, anyways, um, thanks again um, for suggesting and for sharing and watching with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed my, my reaction review. And um, please stick around because up next, I'm going to be checking out Krista Shim, 
covering safe and sound. Uh, I'm going to be checking out James Reed's Cool Down official music video. Um, I'm going to be doing another Mask Singer that I have not yet translated the title because <laughs> it's all Thai. It's going to be another Thai one. Um, after that, Brown Eyed Soul, I Care About You. Another Mask. Sheila Amzas, at Fire to the Rain. Another Mask, of course. Um, and then Jonah and Thor doing a Mariah Carey duet medley. I don't know if you can hear the baby crying. That's the problem. I'm having my windows open. That's why I'm always like trying to be secluded and do this when no one else is around or you live in an apartment complex and everyone in the neighborhood has got to be loud when you're filming because that's the only time to be loud. Immortalized. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Stick around. As always, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, if I didn't have you, this wouldn't be as fun. See you on the next one. Cheers.